Hello, welcome to NeoScribe. What do these old devices have in common? Wires. With the exception of major appliances, the evolution of electronics is wireless technology. We even receive the internet wirelessly, and we're starting to charge our phones wirelessly. And as vehicles become electric powered, it's safe to assume that wireless charging is the inevitable path. Imagine a future where electric vehicles charge wherever it parks, while stopped at a traffic light, or even as it drives along the highway. This would finally put an end to range anxiety, and is possible by electromagnetic induction. Electromagnetic induction involves two electromagnetic coils, which are simply wires, usually made out of copper, that are wrapped around a core and have electric currents running through them. One coil is a transmitter, which in the future will be on a charging pad in a parking space, at a stoplight intersection, or even embedded in the road itself. And the second coil is below the vehicle serving as a receiver. And as electricity passes through the transmitter coil, it generates a magnetic field and transfers energy to the receiver coil charging the vehicle. So industry experts believe that wireless charging for electric vehicles will be implemented in four phases. The first phase is simple residential systems, Second, wireless systems will emerge in parking lots. Third, on on-street parking spaces. And then fourth is farther out into the future when we will see dynamic wireless charging systems embedded into highways. And the first phase is already unfolding as there are at least two companies that have already developed residential grade wireless charging systems, including Evitran and Ytricity. Evitran is based out of Virginia and has wireless charging systems available for the Tesla Model 3, the BMW i3, and the Nissan Leaf, with various output levels between 3.3 to 7.2 kilowatts, which is around the typical home power rating range. Ytricity is based out of Massachusetts, and their system stands out because their output range is up to 11 kilowatts. On top of that, auto manufacturers themselves are developing their own wireless charging systems, including Nissan and BMW. While phase one of wireless charging appears to be well on its way towards implementation, but phase two through four will need government support. And this brings us to the UK. Back in July, the country proposed a plan to dedicate 40 million pounds towards research for wireless charging technology. This includes investigating wireless charging solutions for streets where off-street parking is not available. And they also want to research wireless charging solutions for commercial vehicles, such as ride-sharing service vehicles and delivery vehicles. So I'm excited to see what comes from this research and if it's even half as compelling as the US Department of Energy's research, it's gonna be amazing. The Department of Energy-sponsored Oak Ridge National Laboratory has recently demonstrated a wireless charging system with an output of 120 kilowatts, which is equivalent to a Tesla supercharger. And the lab isn't stopping there, as their long-term goal is to develop a wireless charging system with an output of 350 kilowatts. This would allow electric vehicles to charge in 15 minutes or less. In order for dynamic wireless charging systems to be economically viable, meeting the 350 kilowatt goal is critical. You see, as the power output improves, the number of coils needed to be embedded in roads is reduced along with the cost to install. So hopefully Oak Ridge can continue to make progress and make it possible for wireless charging to happen while we're driving down the highway. In the meantime, we can already see a dynamic wireless charging system in action with a demonstration project done by Qualcomm Technologies. Qualcomm constructed a 100 meter test track in France embedded with a 20 kilowatt wireless charging system. While 20 kilowatt output is not nearly powerful enough to be economical, it's still awesome to see and it shows that dynamic wireless charging will someday be a reality as the technology improves. And it shows that with wireless charging technology, it's only a matter of time until we see the end of range anxiety. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.